Hi, and thanks for joining us at Nelly Surplus. Today we're going to be setting the DVR up for motion detection. To begin, let's right click and select main menu from the bottom. In the, in the right hand corner you should see the setting option. Let's go ahead and click that one. And then select detect. Next we'll need to select our channel that we want to set up motion detection for. In our example here we chose channel 5. Whenever setting up motion detection, make sure the enabled box is highlighted. And also the event type is set to motion detection. Next, towards the middle of the screen, you'll notice an area that says record channel. Make sure that's highlighted. And also make sure the channel that you want to record motion detection on is highlighted also. The sensitivity option can be set 1 through 6. 1 being the lowest sensitivity, 6 being the highest. The anti dither and delay option tells the DVR to continue recording after motion is ended, and this can also be set in a certain amount of seconds. We would recommend leaving those at their default values. After you're finished, go ahead and click save. Next what we're going to do is go through the region option. This configuration basically allows you to block out certain areas of the picture from being triggered for motion detection. Let's go ahead and go to settings again, and back to detect. Once you're inside the detect screen, you'll notice region at the top. Go ahead and click the select button next to region. Here you'll notice quite a few pink boxes. All the pink boxes are active boxes, which means that particular area is subject to motion detection triggers. In our tutorial, we're going to deselect the door and the window. Basically, you can either drag your mouse or just click each specific box to unhighlight those from being detected by motion detection. Now that we have our region set, I'll walk in front of the door that we cleared out, and you'll notice there's no red icon at the bottom, which means no motion was detected at all. In this example, we're going to re-enable the region of the door and the window. That way, if there's any motion in it, it will be detected. Let's go ahead and go back to settings, go back to detect, and click the select button next to region. To fill those back in, you basically do the same thing. Just click in them or highlight them and hold down your mouse button. Be sure and click save. And exit out of the menu. And once I walk in front of the door, you'll notice the red icon at the bottom, sensing motion. As you can see, it pops up there. And that's how you can enable or disable a specific region of your picture. In this next step, what we're going to do is set up the schedule screen. First, let's go ahead and right click and select main menu once again. Go to settings and click the schedule icon. First, what we want to do is set the channel to our motion detection channel that we picked earlier, which was 5. Also next, let's select the weekday. You can either choose an individual day or all days. Next you'll notice the pre-record option. This handy feature makes the DVR record a certain amount of time before the motion event occurs. As you can see, I've unchecked the regular box and filled in the box under MD, which stands for motion detection. Basically what that does is stop the regular recording and allow only motion detection. After you're finished, go ahead and click save. Now we have one more step before completing our motion detection tutorial. Let's go ahead and right click on the main screen. Then let's select record. Here what you want to do is set your channel to schedule, whichever channel that may be that you decided to add motion detection for. In our example we used 5. After you're done go ahead and click OK. And that completes our tutorial for motion detection. Thank you.